How can we better manage the water resources used in 21st century industry and agriculture? Believe it or not, part of the answer to that question lies here, at this 19th century abbey in the Netherlands. Trappist monks started brewing beer here in 1884. Today, the brewery produces some 145,000 hectolitres a year, at an average rate of around 10,000 bottles per hour. But this comes at a cost to the environment. Every hour, the brewery produces 15 cubic metres of waste water. We pray seven times a day. We start at 4 a.m. We thank God for the creation, for its beauty and cleanliness. But at the same time, we're involved in an activity which is heavily polluting. So our aim is to give this water back to nature. But for that, we first need to purify the wastewater. Our final aim is to turn wastewater into drinking water, into water that we can drink. 438 cubic metres of wastewater from the brewery can be treated every day at this special greenhouse, with the help of 200 different plant species. Below these bioreactors, water runs through the plant's roots where 3,000 types of bacteria contribute to the cleaning process. The installation will soon be able to also recover carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus from wastewater. What we are building here is a kind of luxury residence for all kinds of bacteria, so that they feel uh, comfortable and they do their job cleaning the water. The efforts are closely assessed here, where a European research project aimed at improving the management of water resources is coordinated. Scientists want to expand the scope of water in the circular economy and eventually help to develop new approaches, solutions and business models. We see numerous opportunities, for example, in reusing water, or recovering energy from water, could be heat or biogas, but also recovering nutrients from wastewater. This greenhouse is another of the project's 10 case studies. 4.2 million kilos of cocktail tomatoes are produced here every year. A closed loop, totally sealed filtration and desalination system guarantees that wastewater is cleaned and constantly reintroduced to feed the plants. The 9.4 hectare greenhouse relies heavily on rain as a primary water source instead of brackish groundwater. Rainwater has a very low level of sodium, and sodium is an, uh, an element that doesn't, uh, is used by the plants. Uh, so we need to use rainwater, and when rainwater is not enough, we use groundwater, which we desalinate. Researchers say they're also exploring ways to further close the water cycle with the help of rain storage systems inspired by nature.